I'm going to be working on uh, touching up this thing, getting some of the rough areas uh, planed out a little bit. Um, the other two pieces are pretty close to being done. This is the only one that I left off quite a ways into it. And uh, so I've got a little a couple of days work on this. I'm going to rethink the uh, headdress on him. And uh, not sure exactly what I'm going to do yet. I think I've got enough of this trimmed down. Get that off his forehead. Now, in the original clay, I cut his face off and did his face completely away from the, uh, the piece. So, I'm going to give him hair. And instead of putting a fur cap on his head, I think what I'll do is hang up beaver hat off his back. I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud. I don't know what I'm going to do. Or I could just get a, a knit cap. That would be authentic to the period. Got to make sure that head doesn't come off.
Well, my battery's dying, and I'm getting ready to go to dinner, so this is where I've got to cut it. And uh, I'm about to lose one camera. Anyway, what I did was I plotted in the fur of a buffalo skin that he's uh, wrapping both of them in. This will be the fur side, you know, coming over. And it'll start coming over right about here and go down to there. There'll be fur texture under and inside the robe. This is where they would have stretched the robe out to uh, clean it and to uh, prepare it. And that's why I'm putting these on there too. It's just, uh, it was a little bit big for a blanket. And that's why I'm changing it to a buffalo robe. And I just think it makes an extra little bit of texture that will look really nice. All right, I'm gonna call it quits for now. I think it's turning out okay. I'm not still not happy with that hat. I may just change everything again, but that's you know what you do when you're sculpting. You try something and then you try something else. All right, good night, everybody.